and we are live. Hello, guys. Um, today we're going to tie a Marlodge, uh, really nice Salma fly. So, just going to clean up here, <coughs> give some space to myself, and uh, let's see what we are tying on today. Graham Kelly, 5 0. So I prepared uh, almost all the steps. Uh, so let me just zoom in. There we are. Good picture. So I, ha I have waxed the thread. So we're going to start with the silver tinsel in the back. So let me just tie that one in. There we go. <laughs> I took the wrong one. <laughs> I took the body tinsel. I thought it was a bit big. So, we're starting out good. And uh, guys, I did uh, prepare the wing. So I was done with the wing two minutes before the live. And that's good because then we don't need to waste time building a wing. So let's add the correct silver tinsel. I like to go with extra small in the back. Hi Rob, hi Monty, hi Walter, how are you guys? So I'm just gonna attach the team so then I'm gonna keep an eye on the chat. Got a bit slippery fingers today. Let me see if I can attach this one correctly. I cranked up the heat too much down here. Ah, oh, crappy tools, come on. Might be too short. That's efficient. So I'm just going to tie that one in. There we go. Then going back. And just building up with thread. Before adding the tail. Yeah. 
maybe a few turns more. <clears throat> There we are. Just gonna look at the tinsel from this way as well. Oh, five minutes, that's plenty of time. <laughs> so, uh, gonna add the tail, but first I'm gonna add some wax to the thread. And I prepare the tail as well. There it is. Yeah, that will look good. Nice low. Let me see. There you go. Then we go back again. We're going to add the yeast here. So a bit more wax. Oh, I forgot my bottle of water upstairs, but it's okay. I'm just pairing the yeast here, so they the same length before tying them in. There we go. Looks okay. So next step, uh, ostrich shirt. Yeah, that that's a nightmare. Yeah, going with price 10 at one because Kelson, he had a, a lot of colors in his wing and I, I don't really like color uh, in this pattern, I would say, because I, I want to have, let me show you the wing, guys. All natural color, nothing added. This is the real deal. You know, just imagine putting some red and blue and stuff in, in that mix. Nah, don't like that. So I go with the price tenant version. I think it's much nicer, but, th but that's just me. But I will do a mix because price tenant version uh, states uh, tippet in strands but i will not do strands i will have a whole the whole tippet so it's a yeah variant marlodge by jonas and i'm also gonna do one thing 
as front tackle states guinea fall, I will use Vulterine guinea fall. <clears throat> Fix them uh, regarding Y Cinex and and uh, so on. You can have uh, there. There's a few companies selling that uh, AMF fly tying and Irish uh, fly supply. Uh, I think that's the name. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Uh, then you don't need to bid on all the, the capes. You can buy them for like 50, 60 pound. And they, they have plenty. And the, the delivery cost from eBay now is just ridiculous. They, they have like a huge add on there. Uh, don't know why. So first we attach uh, the oval silver tinsel. I go with a uh, small one. So I'm just gonna get that one out of my way. And I'm gonna do uh, the first uh, part for the tinsel. Now it's gonna be silver tinsel, then black silk, and then silver tinsel. So I'm just gonna add some some volume to the body, even it up a bit. Always when you have tinsel bodies, you need to add something underneath. Otherwise the fly is gonna have a ridiculous thin body. And that's not really nice. So just tying in that material. There we go. Ah, oh, Norway, okay. Then, then you have an issue, because uh, <laughs> the custom will look through the package and uh, yeah, that, that can be hard. But, but still, uh, if you're able to get a package through the cost, custom with GC, then uh, look into the Irish, uh, the Irish uh, yeah, shops. Uh, David, I think you know which one I mean, the Irish uh, fly supply or what, what's, it, what's it called, or AMF fly tying. He also sells GC. So, thinking out loud, should I go with, yeah, I think I do. So I'm going to go with the, this one.
but Ireland is uh, within the European Union, so I think you should be able, yeah, Irish fly supplies and AM fly tying, correct. Thanks a lot, David. Um, Ireland is still within, uh, Norway is not within the European Union. <laughs> yeah, okay. You can give it a try. Uh, I think it should be fine. The prices are quite decent, I, I would say. Not overpriced and you can get decent quality. But the good thing is you, you, you don't need to bid because somehow there's a huge amount of super capital uh, strong fly tires out there. They just buy everything. That's why the prices are ridiculous for, you know, Kotinga and Indian crew and everything. So now we're going to have some black silk. Yeah, you can do that for sure. I'm just tying it using the silk as a body material. There we go. So I'm going to have a section like that black. Something like that. So I'm just securing the silk. The same here then, a bit of body material underneath the tin cell. Yeah, I would say those two shops are the best one for Yeezy today. And uh, decent price, as mentioned. Oh, I can go back with the thread since I need to tie in the tinsel anyhow. a bit funny. I'm gonna need the thread to <laughs> tie in the material in the front. Yeah. Smart man.
So the next one, there it is. Take this very thin one. As you can see, the front silver section is a bit longer than the back one. But after the front tackle is there, it will be impossible to see that. So I always do something similar. Then it will look even. There we are. So now it's time for the front tackle. And this is Vulterine Guinea Fall. I'm taking a section without that electric blue one, but, but uh, I like it. It's a bit different, a bit thinner than uh, normal guinea fall. So I'm just going to wax the thread. Just folding the fibers backwards. And then just tie it in. Securing that stem. Nice length of the fibers. 
So you're just going to separate them on top. So they're not in the way for the tippet, like that. So we're going to have some shorter ones, quite large. So let's look through this one. Yeah, I could do. A bit boring, maybe. This one looks better. Yeah, that's a keeper. So let's find another one for the other side. That could be something, but it's the wrong side, yeah. That's for this side. Might be even better. So tippet is something I always select when it's time to uh, put it in place. Because uh, depending on the shape of the fly, it want to have a certain style, right? Long, long, long. Too short, too long. That could be something. Yeah, now we have our pair. So I always have a few necks uh, prepared so I can find the feathers I need for each fly. So, so now we're just going to measure. So one done, and I just do the same on the other one.
Sorry for that. And there we go. So that's going to be the length of it. So it's going to wax the thread. Plenty of black wax. And another thing I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to add a black hurl head. I think it looks better. And I just gently take down the fibers, the front tackle. And I'm just gonna cut the fibers in the front. There we go. So now to the wing. Now the fun starts. Just have a look at the, the patterns. I don't miss anything. Wing, cheek, stopping, horns. Okay. So I'm just pairing the wing. That's the one. Oh, I have one fiber coming 
lows. So I'm actually going to cut that one. Hi, Dave. No, I haven't slept in the new car tent yet. The weather is terrible. We had uh, like uh, the winter coming back. So uh, hopefully soon. Don't know what's with my wings nowadays. So one side I need to pull down a bit. Oh, it looks better. Then we're going to have it's just a strip of buried summer duck, then. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Because I don't, oh yeah, I have long ones here. So let me see if I have the other side as well. I do. Yeah, I tried those before opening a new one. So if they stay broad, I'm going to use a broad one. So I'm just reshaping this one. And the other side, that one I can cut off. Same here, reshape it.
it's not going where I want it. But now it does. Yeah, it doesn't slice to the feathers and uh, people don't know what you're talking about uh, if they say that. So, so don't listen to, to many people, David. Try yourself and then you, you, you will find, you know, what's working. You know, the, the birds can fly with these feathers in storms and, you know, super rain and hail and so on. So that they're not that, that fragile. Uh, I think you notice that you, you can, you know, put quite a lot of force to, to, to a feather without uh, ruining it. So we're going to have young cock on the sides. But of course, there, there are uh, fragile feathers out there. But uh, yeah, many can stand quite a lot of force I would say I think I'm gonna go with quite quite long one yeah something like that So I'm just preparing the yeast so I can tie them in. And some wax. this side here first. I wanted to get a bit higher. Then I do the same on my side. So now it's time to clean up a bit. So I take away a few fibers at a time.
and I'm leaving materials in the front since I'm going to do a hurl head. Then I don't remove everything because you want to have like a foundation for that. Otherwise, you get the slope and then the hurl just run off. So we're actually at the top stage of a topping. So let me see what I got in my little box. But uh, we're running thin yesterday, so I think I might have to pick one from the neck. I might have to wash a few more heads. At the rate I'm tying, I'm <laughs> running out quickly. Nice shape, but way too long. So let me see what we got. Head, head, head. I got four heads that are cleaned, but haven't prepared any anything on. Not that, that much rain on these straight ones. I kind of like my the rain effect. So let me reshape this one. Just have a look. Oh, and it's perfect. So let's use that one. Yeah, perfect might be a strong word, but it, it did look good. I'm just going to compress a bit here. So we have a nice foundation for the topping. Now all the rain is on my side.
could be a bit lower. I think it's too long. Let me try with a shorter one. They're not straight. This one are okay. So let's see what we can do. Because the other one was a bit long. I don't want to have that much air. <laughs> it's way too short, but that, that's a nice topping indeed. So let me see if I can find something in between. And you see. All these ones are red at the top. So this one is, maybe I can shorten it a bit. That has the right curve. So just preparing the topping here. I think we have a good candidate, so just remove the rest. So I'm just flattening the stem. Hmm. Of course, the wing has shifted a bit.
That one is okay. I have some work to do this week. Week, yeah. So cleaning some more pheasant, golden pheasant heads. Uh, horns, before I forget them. I might be number one to forget horns. Sorry for being silent. I'm just focusing on the horns. And there we go. I'm gonna add quite a lot of hurl in the front, that's why I left so much space. So I'm just putting some black here. <laughs> Might take a new one. Just to get the full length of a hurl. Use that wax tread to lay foundation. And 
then just wax a bit more so we can secure it later. <clears throat> so just Securing the thread. Thanks a lot, buddy. Then I just wet and press the, the hurl backwards. And when it's dried, then I will brush it. Not not the perfect one. The wing is slipping a bit here. I can align that. But overall, okay. Tight live, so it is what it is. Uh, that's a Marlot. Let me see what I mean with the brushing ahead, uh, since we, we got some time. One second, guys. You guys might uh, remember this one. So I did wet the hurl and pushed it backwards. So then I just gently No, I think it's okay. So, guys, that's it for today. Uh, one more lotion done. Turned out okay. Uh, maybe not my nicest one, but uh, pretty okay. Uh, so. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'm gonna watch uh, YouTube today, uh, relax and uh, enjoy the last hours of uh, the weekend before it's time for the work week. So, uh, just reading up here. Oh, I just, I just think you know it gets a better look, um, and since you have a lot of tread ahead of the hurl. 
and when pressing it backwards you you you're hiding those wrap uh, wraps with the, the thread and then when you brush time to watch this video uh, me tying and uh, all all the comments in the chat is fantastic so um I'm going to schedule a few videos uh, during the week and also for the next weekend. Not sure what I'm going to tie yet, but I know Gitana is one of them since I did strip the one I had uh, from an earlier video that looked really terrible. So I need to retie that one. <laughs> so, as always, big heart, guys, uh, and see you in the next video. Bye.